What's up YouTube, Israel back on another quick video. Well today we're going to discuss one of my favorite notes in perfumery. Let's check out the top five cherry fragrances in my collection. Stay right there. All right, before I get started, just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for future countdown videos and fragrance related content just like this. All right, so starting things off at number five, we have an Oriental Woody fragrance. Uh, this fragrance boasts cherry, almond, leather, tonka, and vanilla. Uh, it's sweet, nutty, powdery, and aromatic. This one also has above average performance. From the House of Guerlain, we have Lome Ideal EDP. All right, so coming in number four is an Oriental Vanilla fragrance that really does remind me of Oajan from the House of Parfums de Marly or uh, Ombre Narguilly from the House of Hermes. Uh, this fragrance has cherry, white tobacco, tonka, coffee, and spices. It's uh, warm, spicy, and sweet. Has above average performance as well. From the House of Olfactive Studio, we have Close Up. All right, so coming to the number three spot is a very, very popular fragrance in the uh, fragrance community. It is an Oriental Woody fragrance, probably the one of the most popular fragrances of the entire house. Uh, this fragrance has cherry, tobacco, honey, raspberry, and vanilla. It's sweet, fruity, powdery, and super sexy. Has a very uh, good performance as well. From the house of Killian, we have Back to Black. All right, so coming to the number two spot is an oriental floral fragrance. Uh, this fragrance has cherry, brandy, lychee, rose, and pink pepper. It's sweet, fruity, rosy, and warm spicy. Has average to above average performance. From the house of Victor and Rolf, we have Dancing Roses. All right, so coming to the number one spot, I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there have already figured out which one it is, just because this fragrance was the talk of the town a few months ago. Uh, everybody was just really uh, going crazy about this one uh, for its name, uh, for what it smelled like, for the price. Uh, this one uh, is really expensive. It's over $350, I believe, for a 50 ml bottle, which is crazy expensive. Uh, but had a very provocative name and, you know, the, the story behind that. And, uh, you know, it's just a very controversial house to begin with. Uh, this fragrance is an oriental floral fragrance. It has cherry, cherry liqueur, almond, tonka, and vanilla. From the house of Tom Ford, we have Lost Cherry. Yeah, so Lost Cherry is definitely my favorite uh, cherry fragrance in my collection. Uh, it is very sweet. Super, super deep with the cherry. I mean, they have the cherry liqueur and the cherry note. It's just all about the cherries. I mean, it's a red bottle. It's just very sweet, uh, candy sweet almost. Goes into a nice powdery almond note that you know makes it really stand out in the air. You get like this nice kind of uh, almost like cherry powdered donut kind of smell. It's, it's just really nice. Again, super expensive. Not really uh, gonna recommend you guys go out there and buy this from retail. I did get a great price on this bottle, so um, if you get, get you know get a lower price on this bottle or find yourself a decent clone, I think there's a couple floating around out there. Uh, maybe try that one out, save some money. Um, but this one is uh, probably my favorite cherry fragrance right now out of my collection. Um, it really is uh, worth talking about. I, you know, it stands out. It has great performance. The thing lasts all day on my skin. Um, so, you know, it's definitely going to be my number one spot for my cherry list. All right, guys. So what are your favorite cherry fragrances in your collection? Please leave your list down in the comments below. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications for future countdown videos and fragrance related content just like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There you'll find fragrance related photos and future contest winners. And as always, until the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.